Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a Q&A in so long. Like I don't remember the last time I did a Q&A. Like I really, I just, I don't know. The last like talking video I did was I think when I like said that I was transferring home from Alabama. And then before that it was like the 50 and back. So it's been a hot minute since I've just talked to y'all. So let's do that today. I have a tutorial on this up if you guys want to see it. This went up like a few weeks ago. You guys all know how Q&As go. I tweeted out for you guys to ask me questions. And it's like you guys are still in school. So I'm kind of like still getting questions rolling in. But I don't really want to wait any longer. I just want to get moving. So here we go. Gabby and Nikki asks pet peeves. Like I've learned a lot of pet peeves since I've lived on my own. Um, but one of them is that I hate when people will leave their half drank water bottles around my house like it's fine because i just put them back in the fridge and i'll just drink them like i don't really care whose it was but it just drives me crazy having so many half drank and water bottles just laying around the house myt posey asks where do you see yourself in 10 years i wish i had an answer for you like i really do i hope to be married and i hope to have a kid at least one i'll be 28 almost 29 in 10 years so I hope to have a kid. In terms of like jobs and stuff, I don't know. I was in spin the other day and someone was like, you know, how are you liking your new school? And I was like, you know, it's pretty good. And they're like, what do you see yourself doing in 10 years? Like, what do you want to do? And I was like, honestly, like I want to be a stay at home mom. Like I really don't want to have like a regular nine to five job. I don't really want to do anything like crazy. You know, I'll pr I want to open a spin studio. I've known that for a while. So I definitely want my own spin studio when I'm older. So hopefully in 10 years I'll have that. But I mean, I just really want to be a stay-at-home mom. Sorry, I'm touching my hair. Like, I really just want to be a stay-at-home mom with like my little babies and then my husband and just have like a cute life. <laughs> really, Macy asks, favorite city you've visited? I loved London. London was definitely my favorite city. Like, the people there were amazing. The boys have great hairstyles, which is something you so don't see in America every day. They have amazing hair, all of them. Um, the little kids are so cute. When you hear them talk with their little accents, my heart melts. And I just love London. They have tea shops everywhere, and it's just like hip, and everyone looks nice all the time. And I don't know, I really, really love London. Alo's Bands asks, what made you get into spin, and what's your current favorite song at the moment? So I just want to clarify what spin is because I've actually gotten a lot of questions about it. So spin is like indoor cycling, like on bikes and stuff. They're stationary bikes so you don't go anywhere. You do like a lot of motions on the bike and it's like, oh my god, it's so much fun, I love spin. So what made me get into spin was us with my friend Hallie and we were in the city and you know, I took spin classes before at like LA Fitness and stuff and she was like, do you wanna go to SoulCycle? And I was like, yeah, like let's do it. We went to SoulCycle, totally nothing like LA Fitness spin classes. I was like, holy amazing, like this is great. So we came home and then I found a studio closer to home um, that is exactly like SoulCycle and that's the studio that I've gone to ever since and I love it there So they really got me into spin and got me like addicted to it um, Which is great because now I'm training to teach it. My current favorite song right now probably has to be Bad Tings um, I don't know who it's by. I don't know who it's by but like I'm obsessed with it. It's so good If you guys want um, my Spotify is linked down below. I have great playlist if I do say so myself. I have a spin playlist if you guys are like interested in spin and don't really know like what kind of music to spin to. It's called Spin to This. So I have a spin playlist, I have a sauna playlist, I have a turn up playlist, I have like a good morning playlist, like a whole bunch of playlists. So I always update them. Some of them have kind of old songs on them. A lot of them have new songs on them. So um, they're, all, they're just a mix of everything great. So yeah, I have a Spotify if you guys want to follow. It's just Tori Sterling, it's my username on Spotify, go check it out. Okay, anyway, it says, are you still making a vegan vlog? And yes, my mom and I did make a vegan vlog and we also made a vegan Instagram and a vegan Twitter. So if you guys wanna follow it, it's Carby Dolls, like Barbie Dolls, but Carby Dolls. <laughs> my mom came up with that, I think it's really clever. Ruby or Deanna asks, how did you decide leaving Bama was the right choice? I am so glad I'm not in Alabama right now. Like, I can't even tell you guys. My friends are all like back to school now and they were all like, you know, I only have a few days left and I cannot tell you just how 
happy I was that I did not have to leave to go back to school. Like I am just so happy that I did not have to drive anywhere to get to school. I did not have to pack up a suitcase and go to school. I just live here and I do everything here. And I'm just so happy about that. Like I don't regret it. You know, I'm still friends with like all my sorority sisters on Snapchat and stuff. So I see all their Snapchats and I'm just, I feel nothing. Like I don't feel like I'm missing out. I don't feel like I'm sad. I am just so happy right where I am. KXOX OAY asks, what movies could you watch over and over and still love? Okay, this is like me to like a T because I never watch new movies ever. Whenever I find a movie that I like, I watch it again and again and again and again and again and again, and again until literally I'm like, you know, I could watch a different movie. So again and again and again, hands down the Devil Wars Prada. Like I watch that movie so many times and it's always on TV. It's always on when I'm watching like movies on flights because it's downloaded to an iPad. Like no matter what, whenever that movie's on, I'm like, hell yes, like Double Wears Prada, like bring it on. I just love that movie. It's so good. It's so good. Another movie I think I could always watch is How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. That's just such a cute movie. Mac Williams asks, who are your favorite Bachelor contestants this season? I'm calling it right now. Danielle L is gonna win this. I am calling it right now she is winning it i love her go girl i'm obsessed with her i have a feeling that she could kind of turn into like a bitch towards the end of the season you know how they like, always like make it out to be like that like you know how sean went on caitlin's season like he got kind of crazy because like caitlin and nick or whatever but that's just it's just the producers I, so i think that danielle l is gonna be like a front runner the entire time and then i kind of think they're gonna make her turn into like this bitch but i love her and i think she is so sweet, so genuine, and so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with her. She's like everything. J. Jess Jones asks, do you have another, do you have a job other than YouTube? And okay, I think a lot of people are confused about this because in a vlog I posted a little while back, I said, oh, I worked a nine hour shift today and I'm working another nine hour shift tomorrow. So basically what happened when I came back from Alabama, I was like, you know what? I should like get out of the house a little bit and kind of throw myself back into the world. So um, when I was in high school, if you guys remember, I worked at Sweet and Sassy. And so this past Christmas break, I was like, hey, like, do you guys need any help over the break? Like, I can help you guys out. Um, so I just went in and I helped out during the winter break. But um, just like when everyone's back from college and when everyone's off from school and stuff, like it gets really busy there, so they needed help. So I was just like, yeah, like I'll help you guys out. But I don't, like, I don't work there full time. Um, I just sort of help out when they need help but it's not like a full commitment or anything. It's just a little like, here you go, whatever. But if I teach spin, that is technically another job, but to me it's like not a job. It's just like working out, but I'm teaching how to. So I, if you count that, then yes. All right guys, so that's gonna be it for today's Q&A. Nice and light, keeping it simple, but you know, just a little chit chat. I miss you guys and yeah. I'm gonna go, I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys all in my next video, bye.